It is Friday, November 6, 2020, and you are tuned into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. Today on the show, we've got a recap of last night's World of Outlaws late model finale, a preview and some predictions for the World of Outlaws sprint car weekend, results from last night's USMTS show, a new ride for Justin Peck, and an update on the 2020 Chili Bowl. But first, this episode is brought to you by Blood Lubricants. Blood carries a high-performance line of synthetic racing oils, and they've got you covered for all sorts of dirt racing applications. Engine oils, gear oils, suspension fluid, cleaning products, you name it, they've got it. If you aren't a racer, though, Blood carries products for all sorts of other applications, too. They can help you out with your four-stroke or two-stroke motorcycle. They've got products for road bikes, ATVs, and UTVs. So if you're taking the four-wheeler or side-by-side out this fall to go off-roading or for hunting, get it ready for the trails with some Blood lubricants. For the racing community, they've got a great support program that offers discounts on products plus free swag, and they support hundreds of racers across many divisions throughout the country. To check out the support program, find out more more information or to buy, visit bloodlubricants.com. That's B-L-U-D lubricants.com. If you'd like to receive 25% off most products, use code DIRT at checkout. That's D-I-R-T, all caps, at checkout. Last night was the season finale for the World of Outlaws Late Model Series at the Dirt Track at Charlotte. We were missing a full-time outlaw competitor, though, as Daryl Lanigan suffered a concussion following a night one incident and was forced to pack up and head home. With Lanigan missing, Chase Youngins was able to jump over him into the top five in points. We saw Kyle Larson set a new track record on Wednesday night driving the Rumley 6, and last night he went even faster in qualifying, pushing the track record down to 14.183 seconds. Larson was one of four drivers to go faster than his record record from the night before. In the final feature event of the season, Dale McDowell and Ricky Weiss led the field to green, and it was Weiss who jumped to the early lead. Wednesday night's winner, Brandon Overton, started sixth, and he was again a factor all race long, battling in the top five. But this race would eventually go to Tim McCready. On a restart past halfway, McCready used the bottom to roll by Weiss and take the top spot. He was not challenged the remainder of the race, grabbing his first ever win at Charlotte in his 36th start at the track. Pretty incredible. Weiss was second, Overton third, Chris Madden fourth and Dale McDowell finished fifth. Kyle Larson finished eighth while series champion Brandon Shepard had a late flat tire and finished 13th. Your final top five in points look like this. Brandon Shepard is the champion. Ricky Weiss second. Cade Dillard third. Dennis Herb Jr. fourth and Chase Younghands rounded out the top five. So again, congrats to Brandon Shepard and the Rocket team on their championship. Uh, And kudos to World Racing Group, the Outlaws, um, and everybody that was able to get this season done in a very difficult year. The World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series takes their turn for the last call starting tonight at the Dirt Track at Charlotte. Tonight and tomorrow will decide the 2020 championship. Brad Sweet enters with a 46-point lead over Logan Schuhart and a 64-point advantage over Donnie Schatz. With basically two points separating positions in a race, Schuhart needs to, on average, beat Sweet by 11 and a half positions each night to take the title. That means if Shuhart wins both nights, Sweet has to finish 13th or worse um, on the next two nights to lose that championship. While not impossible, I do think it's pretty improbable that either Shuhart or Shots win the title. 46 points is a sizable margin to overcome with two nights remaining, and Sweet will have provisions available if necessary. Except for a possible position change between Shuhart and Shots for second, the rest of the top 10 basically should finish as is Sheldon Hoddenshield is fourth, Carson Macedo fifth, David Gravel sixth, Darren Pittman seventh, Jacob Allen eighth, Parker Price Miller ninth, and Craig Kinzer in tenth. Regardless of what happens over the next two nights, Kyle Larson will finish the season with the most outlaw wins. He currently has 12 to Sweets eight. Looking at tonight and tomorrow, David Gravel swept World Finals last year while Logan Schuhart and Gio Selzy won the spring events at Charlotte in 2019. But the DirtTracker.com analytics prediction formula likes Logan Schuhart slightly over Donnie Schatz the next two nights. It's tied at the top, though, with Schuhart, Schatz, Sweet, James McFadden, and Kyle Larson all separated uh, by a little more than 1% in win chances. Schuhart's last seven finishes at Charlotte go like this. Third, third, second, third, first, third, fifth. Uh, So if there's a track that Schuhart could really make a run at Sweet. It's Charlotte. Sweet's no sl- uh, slouch at Charlotte either, though. He doesn't have any wins back to 2018, but he does have five top fives in seven starts. The racing should be close with 48 very strong cars on the preliminary entry list. Names like Larson, Christopher Bell, Anthony Macri, Corey Eliason, Brian Brown, Casey Kane, Tyler Courtney, Kerry Madsen, Sammy Swindell, and many, many others uh, will be in attendance to take on the full slate of Outlaws. If you cannot be at Charlotte, Dirt Vision has live streaming coverage 
charge all weekend long with your fast pass. The US MTS Modifieds kicked off their final weekend of the season last night at RPM Speedway with a first time winner. Jack Sartain bested Cody Leonard and Fido Gallardo in a race that saw seven lead changes among five drivers in 35 laps. Rodney Sanders finished 21st in the feature but continues to lead the championship standings with two nights remaining. The US MTS Modifieds are back tonight and tomorrow. The Tom Book owned number 13 sprint car will have a new driver starting this weekend at Charlotte with the World of Outlaws and then full time with the All Star Circuit of Champions next season. Justin Peck will jump into the seat vacated by Paul McMahon, uh, who left that team after the conclusion of the All Star season a few weeks back. Peck filled in for the 13 team for two races earlier in the year when McMahon tested positive for COVID 19. Peck attempted seven World of Outlaws shows in 2020 with a best finish of 16th at Hobstadt in June. He ran 19 All Star races this year with a best finish of fourth, which he did twice in June at Red Dirt Raceway and in August at Plymouth Speedway, actually driving for Book. Peck spent time in four cars this year, his own 5X, the Peak Grove 70, the Book 13, and the Trone 39. McMahon finished fourth in the All-Star points this year, driving the 13. The organizers of the Chili Bowl announced yesterday that the 2021 edition of the event will see grandstands capped at 25% capacity due to the pandemic. For more information about tickets, the event, and the announcement, visit ChiliBowl.com. There are 10 items on the streaming schedule for tonight. The World of Outlaws Sprint Cars take on the dirt track at Charlotte on Dirt Vision. Flow Racing has USAC 24-7, the Wild Card Weekend at Bridgeport Motorsports Park, and USCS Sprint Cars from Riverside International Speedway. That is the Flip Flop 50 weekend. Racing Boys has ASCS Sooner Region action from Creek County. Racing Dirt has carts at Heart of Oklahoma Speedway and the second night of the Southern Nationals at RPM Speedway for the USMTS Modifieds. And Speed Sport has three shows, local racing from Hendry County Speedway, Davenport Speedway and Cocopa uh, Speedway. To see the full list with links to watch, visit dirttracker.com slash watch tonight. Uh, a show note about next week, there will not be a new Dirt Tracker Daily on Monday as I won't be home from the Phoenix NASCAR weekend until later on Tuesday. Uh, I will try and put something out on Tuesday when I get home. However, I will keep you posted on what's going on there. That's it for the week. Uh, hope everybody has a good weekend. Make sure to tune into some racing this weekend as things continue to wind down. Um, like I said, plenty of things will be available across the streaming services if you can't get to a racetrack you can find dirt tracker daily on apple Podcasts, spotify stitcher or where you get podcasts please subscribe and leave a review you can also watch the show every day on youtube and facebook you can email the show at info at dirt tracker.com and you can follow along at facebook.com slash dirt tracker twitter.com slash dirt tracker and the website itself dirt tracker.com you can follow me personally on twitter at justin underscore fiedler thanks everybody for tuning in another week uh, appreciate all the support appreciate everybody that's been tuning in and, and listening and, and downloading and watching on YouTube. Um, it is much, much appreciated. But that's it for this week. I'll see everybody next week for more Dirt Tracker Daily.